Have you ever wondered how pro players kill titans at the speed of light? Have you also wondered why are they much faster than you? But they never tell you how. Bruh, bruh. What the hell? Well, in this video, I will be teaching you the exact secret method that all of the pros in Untitled Attack on Titan used to solo any mission in the game and get a very high amount of kills in a very short time. I call this method the Rage Grappling. Before we start this video, I would really recommend you watch this video until the end because I will be explaining every step in detail. And if you miss any step, then the secret method won't work well. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. We actually hit 1,000 subs right after my birthday, which was so cool. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the video. To start things up, I will tell you about the most important step. Basically, without this step, you won't be able to do this secret method. And by the way, many people asked me about this step before. So this video should answer all your questions. Step number one is to learn how to double grapple and turn at the same time. You are all probably familiar with this way of grappling, but many of you don't know how to do it. It is very simple, but it won't work if you don't have a keyboard. The keyboards that I am talking about are the keyboards that you use for gaming. So basically gaming or mechanical keyboards, because these types of keyboards can render more than three buttons clicked at the same time. Let me explain more. So let's say you are using two buttons to double grapple, and then you use your thumb to boost. In a laptop's keyboard, you won't be able to click on another button to turn right or left while double grappling and boosting all together. But if you use a separate hardware keyboard, then you would be able to click all of these buttons together at the same time. So if you don't have a keyboard, I would say probably buy one. It doesn't necessarily have to be expensive if you are only using it for this game. But if you play other games like Fortnite or any other Battle Royal games, you can probably spend a little more money on a really good keyboard to get the most benefit. Now onto the second step, you need to learn the spider grappling technique. If you learn this technique, count yourself halfway done with the secret method. The spider technique is so important that you really need to master it in order to perfectly perform the secret method. Now you might ask, what is exactly the spider grappling? Well, it is when you almost spam your A and D buttons on a side of a wall, while also turning to a side all at the same time. Let me explain in more detail. Here's a slow motion clip of the spider grappling. It starts by grappling from one side and then grappling from the other. Then what happens next is you let go from the first grapple, then grapple with it again, and then let go from the other grapple and then grapple again while turning to a side. Then you keep repeating this process. In this clip, I am turning to the left, now many people make mistakes in this step because they rush it thinking it is easy. So they just spam their keys and fail to do it. Then they totally give up on learning the spider grappling. You must keep in mind that it needs a lot of practice to master something. So if you don't put enough effort into it, then you will probably fail to do it. Here's a clip of a person who mastered this technique. Now before going to the next step, let me answer some questions that you might ask about spider grappling. Like for example, what will happen if I don't turn to the side while doing the spider grappling? Well, this will happen. You will just get stuck on the wall and you won't continue moving forward. Another question many of you might ask is, how fast should I spam my A and D keys? Well, you don't just mindlessly spam them. You need to try and time them on to match your speed. Because let's say you are using agility, three in Ackerman clan, and you are so fast, well, you should then spam the keys even faster to keep up with your speed. So you should experiment with this technique until you master it. I really want to apologize if this video is boring or taking too long, but this is the in-depth detailed video on how to learn the secret technique, and there is no one out there who would explain it in more detail than this. Now on to the third step. In this step, you need to train yourself to stay in the air as long as you can. By practicing this, you will teach yourself the habit of killing titans after each other while being in the air and without touching the ground. You can train this by going into free roam and just grappling around the map. I would recommend you start slow without boosting your gear. But when you get the hang of it, you should start boosting for speed. This is a very crucial step. It teaches you how to keep the momentum in slaying titans. But you need to know that this step is really hard compared to the steps before because you will keep messing up the faster you grapple, so you should really be patient with this. Now let's talk about the fourth step. I would say that this is the main step in the whole secret method. This step is the combination of all the other steps combined with another move that allows you to chain your way 
through titans and kill them while staying in the air. Now don't get me wrong, it is fine to touch the ground, but do your best to stay in the air, because landing on the ground slows you down. Now, start by using the second step, which is spider grappling, to reach the range to grapple onto a titan. After that, you need to use the first method, which is double grappling and turning to a side all at the same time. After you reach around the shoulder to the neck of the titan, you should slash with your blades to kill it. Then comes a new step, which is really important. As you can see, the secret method is now forming, so bear with me, I promise we are almost done. When you kill a titan, I want you to let go of the grapple that you used at the same side of your turn. What I mean is, if you double grapple to the left side, then I want you to let go of the left grapple right after you kill the titan, and also let go of the boost button. If you do that, it allows you to rotate around the dead titan, which gives you enough time to use the third step, which is grappling onto anything to stay in the air. So after you kill the titan, and do what I said earlier to rotate around it, you should always keep an eye on your next target, right when you kill a titan, that allows you to keep the momentum of chaining through titans. This secret method is hard to master, but easy to perform. It only needs some training and patience in order to get the hang of it. A crucial thing you should bear in mind while training is that you need to also train your muscle memory. So I would say try to use this method for like an hour at least. Then you can hop off for some hours and come back after some other hours and repeat. That would train your muscle memory and allow your brain to remember all the buttons that you need to click. While recording this video, I met some very amazing supporters who support my channel and many of them seemed to ask me many questions about how I am so good at the game, which gave me the idea of making this video. If you found this video helpful, then consider subscribing or at least liking the video as it really motivates me to create more content like this. But have you ever asked yourself if a new player can become a pro in under 24 hours? Well, if you want to know the answer to that, then I would really advise you to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one.